Okay, good. Unmute. Welcome, Kristen. Welcome, Monica. Welcome, Vanessa. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now your videos should work if you want to be seen. Hi, Master Paul. Hello, Kristen. Hello. And <clears throat> am I heard? Yes, we can see Monica. Okay. And welcome, Jim. Okay, today's been a little bit of a whirlwind for me. <laughs> Getting caught up from this yeah. busy week. Yeah, like it's 6 a.m. over there, Vanessa. It is. It's still a bit dark here. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> All good. Okay. So I haven't seen Abdullah check in yet. Um, I don't know. And now anybody. it's received, he said. It's his first time using Zoom, so let's see. How many uh, has uh, uh, registered? For right now, class? there's about six people, mostly veterans. Even though Kristen has been doing a, an amazing job advertising, people have not understood the value of this. So we have to look at delivering the message differently so that they can grasp the value. Mm. What can you do? Well, Miss and I am here. <laughs> yeah, those those who are in the know are here. Oh, veterans are all right. Uh, okay. I thought it was, was going to be at uh, 10 p.m. And uh, so I noticed that it was at 8 o'clock. And then I go, wow. So you're, uh, it's hard to hear you a little bit, Monica. So if you can put the microphone closer to you somehow. Testing one. Two, I can three. hear you. It was just a little bit low, because my volume's up pretty high. I have to, I have to listen okay. carefully to hear you. Can you hear me now? It's about the same. I can hear you. It's just not as loud as others. Um, okay. So anyway, uh, this class is the second class actually, and I'm going to ask Kristen to post on the chat group the first class that I did which was to the general public and I did it on this last uh, Tuesday through my Facebook live stream as a, a vehicle of promotion so that people could understand the value of this course so uh, if you missed this first class first course then it is important to watch that um, let me see and uh, it will lay a foundation for everyone. Now, most of you, because you're veterans, are familiar with this information. Uh, and that's important to understand because there will be new people that will join over the course of time since this is a, a, a come anytime kind of a program. Um, having created it, uh, I will be um, repeating some things again and again in the first five minutes for all those that are just tuning in for the first time. And those repeat things will be basic teachings such as everything has a soul uh, and so forth. So um, one of the great values is when you get that, you'll get it at a deeper level. For the new people, they need to hear that so that the additional information that will come through the course will make sense to them instead of me having to repeat. Now also, anybody new that comes in, uh, I will require them to watch this first um, first video that I made as a precursor to coming in to watching any other ones so that they have the foundation. <clears throat> this course is only one hour long each week, okay? And there will be a, 
practice on Tuesdays, which I have asked Kristen to lead. Uh, she's actually pretty much developed a, a great deal of this material. I was talking with her and about, you know, the next level of um, service that I wanted to offer. And I wanted to go through all of Master Shah's books, which is a monumental effort. Okay, I understand that 24 books is not a small effort. And so um, she went through and, uh, and she knows the books far better than I do. You know, I know the wisdom, she knows the books. And um, so she went through and literally typed out um, the necessary bullet point information from many, 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 many books. So I have asked her to lead the practices on Tuesdays. Um, so I hope that you honor that and join those practices. Occasionally I will come when I can, uh, but my life has become relatively busier and um, this is an aspect of the whole program. So one of the beautiful aspects about this program is that when we um, go through the progression of the books from the beginning towards the end, we also go through the progression of Master Shah's elevation of his wisdom because he has been taught by the divine uh, and the information as it flows through the books um, is, is more and more enlightening as time goes. And I think we have uh, Abdullah has joined us. Let me check. There you are. Welcome, Abdullah. And Abdullah, I've turned on your camera as well if you wish to be seen. And you can also talk. Uh, you may be coming in on phone, however because even though I've turned on your uh, ability to talk, it looks like you're not showing up visually as if you're on a laptop, so you might be on a phone. There you are. Okay, so at least we can hear you. Uh, maybe not be able to see you. There you are. Aloha, Abdullah. Welcome, Abdullah. Okay, and so um, as I was saying, so this course is a one hour uh, every week course. It will not be as heavily condensed as any previous courses in one presentation. And that's because in the previous presentations, it took an hour and a half to two hours to, to deliver the high level information and then also set aside some time for practice. With this, we're going to do about 20, 25 minutes of wisdom and then 20, 25 minutes of practice and a few minutes of sharing and then we close because I do have other courses scheduled after this one that I need to be available to. Okay, so those are the ground rules so that everyone's aware of it. And also as with each and every course, they are recorded. Um, they're then uploaded to a video and I keep the video and audio accordingly. The teachings are, are videos and they're kept. The uh, practices are audios and they're kept on the website, on my website, in which you links will be provided uh, and the password to access them will be provided. I, if I set it up correctly, Zoom, uh, one day after this course, Zoom sends you a reminder email. Hey, thanks for joining the course. By the way, here's where you can access your recordings, okay? So if you ever forget, Zoom should send you a reminder with the links and the password. I set it up to do so. You have to pay attention to your emails. Um, are there any questions before we get started? I posted a link in the chat. Okay, thank you, Kristen. And then also, as always, I use the Facebook chat group to drop in links. And so after I record the video or the audio, I drop the link into the chat box so you can access them again. So there's multiple ways to access the recordings. Very good. So let us connect, placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is like a prayer position. I drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. We close our eyes and let us fully connect. Dear my beloved divine creator, we love you. We honor you. We appreciate you. We bow our heads to you. We ask that you please bless this and every week of our practice, our awakening. We ask the blessings for this 52-week self-healing program to reach as many souls as possible so that they further awaken and develop 
their alignment to their soul journey. We invite all souls of the light side, including the masters and ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels, archangels, and more. We invite our individual heavens teams, the souls of the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes serving the planet of the light side. We love you all, honor you, and respect you all. And we thank you for your presence and your blessings. We thank you for all that you have done for us without our knowledge and awareness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes, we love you, we honor you, respect you. As we chant, we invite you to please connect us heart to heart, soul to soul. Bless us to clear further any blockages we have on our spiritual journey. Help us to develop our awakening. Thank you. So let us chant love, peace, and harmony one round together. Um, and try to do it in sync. If not, I'll, I'll mute everybody so that we don't sound like a bunch of hurt animals. But we will try. Okay? Let us begin. Lula, 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 So welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. I'm going to go ahead and go straight into the presentation. You should all be able to see the PowerPoint right now. And this is week two, actually. Again, week one was delivered on Tuesday on Facebook live stream for everybody in the world to see. Uh, Kristen, I believe she's already posted this week one in the chat box. It's now on a YouTube. You are able to watch it. It is recommended that you watch it so that you have uh, a foundation of the wisdom, including what we're going to be talking about today. This is called the message energy matter theory. This is a, a partial teaching. And um, what I mean by that is the message energy matter theory has a couple of layers to it. So this is the beginning layers. This is from uh, the divine soul, mind, body, healing and transmission system, page 437. So the Divine Soul Mind Body Medicine uh, is this book here. And this book um, is, I think, Master Shaw's fourth book. Uh, and when he, when he wrote this book, um, this was his first New York Times bestseller. And in here, there's literally 100 pictures okay, of him doing uh, practices and hard to show all 100 pictures. But... Um, uh, we'll be going into some of the theories in this book later on in the weeks and I'm certainly not going to go through all of the pictures, but he does near hand and far hand, which are aspects of this energy and matter theory, right? So we'll go back to screen share. <clears throat> so the term Ling, Ling in Chinese, Mandarin Chinese has been used more in China and other Asian countries. Um, Master Shaw has a calligraphy called Ling Guang, which is soul light, Guang is light. Ling Guang, soul light, 
It's very popular calligraphy. He's also in his Soul Healing Miracles book. And Ling is a Mandarin Chinese word that means spirit. Spirit is a word used mostly in Western countries. Message is not a word that people, generally speaking, understand that has associations with anything other than delivering a written message, delivering a verbal message. They have no association to the word message and soul and spirit. But in Master Shah's wisdom, message is extremely important. Message is used more speaking in the scientific field. So soul, the word soul, spirit, and message are the same, but with different names. So think about that. Okay, I agree that spirit and soul might be the same, but message, you're telling me message is the same as spirit, that message is the same as soul? The answer is yes. Let's find out why. Everything is made up of matter. Matter includes atoms, protons, neutrons, electrons, quarks, leptons, and more. Matter, this is very important, matter radiates energy. So understand that every speck of matter, a lepton, a quark, you can't even see these under the highest microscopes. They just, they know they exist because something's happening. But matter exudes energy. It radiates energy. Matter and energy, new, disappear. They transform from one to another. This is also part of the energy matter theory. So what does that mean? Matter transforms to energy and energy transforms to matter. That's in essence what this is saying. This is very, very new and interesting information. If you, if you told this to anybody on the street, they'd say you're nuts. So what you're telling me is that this telephone, which is made of matter, can disappear and become energy and then come back to matter. Well, in a sense, yes. Everything is made up of matter. Now, when I first heard this, uh, I was like, okay, well, that's a tough one because uh, science says that matter is only 1% and that space is 99, 99%, right? That everything else is the space in between the matter. And what Master Shah explains is that he the heaven, Tao, the source, told him, they said, Master Shah, everything comes from nothing, but nothing is still smaller matter. He says, if you look at history, they make better and better microscopes and they still find smaller and smaller matter. And they will continue to find smaller and smaller matter until they cannot find it anymore, which will only be because their microscopes can't do it. But everything is smaller and smaller and smaller matter. The universe is blinking in and out all the time. What does that mean? The energy is converting to matter. The matter is converting to energy. Matter exudes energy. Think about that. Matter exudes energy. Just it's glowing, right? Zzz, it's like a light bulb. Zzz. Even the smallest specks of matter are glowing like energy. And so matter literally blinks into energy. Energy then blinks back to matter. This is a conversion that is occurring at a universal level that has not been identified at the levels that it's happening at. Now science has validated, has validated, <clears throat> that uh, matter blinks into and out of existence. They can't explain how it happens. They're completely clueless and they're afraid to talk about it because they don't understand it. So they, they really don't talk about it too much. But you can find all kinds of articles validating that matter blinks out of existence. They sit there and look at it in a microscope. They're like, where'd it go? Oh, there it is again. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is again. They just can't explain it. Master Shah wrote about this 15 years ago before science discovered this. He was told it by the creator. This is important because when we apply this wisdom, moving into the soul and soul wisdom, it will help tremendously in understanding why it works. So remember that soul, spirit, and message are the same thing, but with different names. What does that have to do with energy and matter? Soul, spirit, and message are interrelated inside and part of energy and matter. So matter and energy are the carriers of message. Think about that. Matter and energy carry a message. 
What is the other word for message? Soul. What is the other word for message? Spirit. Message, spirit, and soul are all the same. So if matter and energy carry soul, then also matter and energy carry spirit. Then also matter and energy carry message because soul, spirit, and message are the same. So you're starting to grasp a little bit what is meant by message. Message is soul. All matter, even the smallest matter, has a soul. Everything has a soul. You've heard this before. You've read it before. Now you're getting it at a much deeper level. Souls direct, this is very important, souls direct the transformation between the matter and the energy. Let's replace the word soul. What's another word? Spirit directs the transformation between matter and energy. What's another word for soul? Message directs the transformation between matter and energy. Do you see how all three words can be plugged in in that same sentence? So if message is directing the transformation between matter and energy, what is the message? The message is the karma. Is it good karma? Then good karma is directing the transformation between the energy and the matter. Therefore, one is healthy. If it's bad karma directing the transformation of the energy and the matter, then one is not healthy. You get it? So everything has a soul. Soul is the carrier of message. What is the message? The message is the karma. So this explains the one sentence secret, which is heal at the level of soul first, because soul, spirit, and matter direct the energy and the matter. When you heal things at the level of the director, then the mind and the body will follow because of the director, which is the soul, spirit, matter, is directing the conversion of the energy and matter at the level of the body. Make sense? Okay. So soul has many layers. For example, a human body has a soul. We all know that. Our body has a soul, um, which is our spirit, our essence. <clears throat> each human being also has a soul. For each system, you have the cardiovascular system, the, uh, the respiratory system, you have the nervous system, and the list goes on. Uh, every system has a soul. Every organ has a soul. Every cell has a soul. The cell units, which is what's inside the cells, all the smallest matter, the RNA, the DNA, they all have a soul. What is that? That's another way of saying that. They all carry a message. So you have learned through science that DNA can be altered, that there's two strands of DNA, but they say that if you're highly evolved, you have 12 strands of DNA and blah, blah, blah. Who knows what's real, right? But in terms of uh, these individual body parts, organ systems, DNA, RNA, what do they all have in common? They all are carrying message. Everybody here knows somebody who had brain cancer or liver cancer or some kind of a cancer, right? That was on an organ. Why did the cancer go to that organ specifically? Why? Think about it. That organ has many, many cells. That organ has many, many RNA, DNA, smallest matter. And each one of those are carrying an unpleasant message, which is at the level of soul. The physical body is then mirroring, mirroring the message problem. So the message is obviously, if it's a liver cancer, then it has associations to anger. We remember that from wood element information. It has associations to possibly somebody, you know, impaled somebody with a knife in previous lifetimes. Maybe they stuck like sticking swords into people's left sides of their bodies in the lower abdomen, right? And, and they were left-handed. So the person always got it in the left side of the body, um, always getting the liver. So now they have all this, all this messages of, of, of unhappy, uh, 
life taking on their liver at the level of soul. And all of that person's RNA, DNA, smallest matter in their liver are impacted. Therefore, they have liver cancer. That's an example of how messages carried from lifetime to lifetime and how it shows up in all these different levels. Okay. Now, all of these souls uh, have a role. If they're a soul, what happens to souls? Souls evolve, right? Every soul moves forward in time. Every soul moves forward in life. So a DNA, RNA soul might next time become a cell soul. And the next time that cell soul might evolve into a, a tissue soul on the skin. And then maybe it might evolve into an organ soul. And then it maybe might evolve into an animal and so forth. Souls are always in a, pro a constant process of evolution. And they evolve because of their service. So if they serve well, they move up on the chain of awakening. Everything has consciousness. Everything, everything, everything has consciousness. Everything is in the evolutionary process. So your body is, is being completely enlightened by this wisdom. Every soul in your body is sucking this stuff in like, oh man, this is great. Your RNA, DNA cells inside your brain are dancing. The RNA, DNA cells inside your liver are going, wow, this wisdom is awesome. So all of the souls in your body are breathing in this wisdom. They're going to be far more evolved souls next time around because of this wisdom. Your, most people's cells in their human body last about 90 days and they die off. Well, then they come back as a new cell, but maybe a little more enlightened because they heard some of this wisdom. Everything is in the process of evolving. Um, science studies have shown that the brain has billions of cells. This tells us that a brain itself has billions of souls. Each cell has many RNA, DNA, etc. Every organ has billions and billions of souls also. The whole body has too many souls to count. Think about that. You are the carrier of trillions of souls. You've only seen yourself as a soul. That's it. Okay, I'm a soul walking around. No, you are the carrier of trillions of souls. You are very, very responsible. You're carrying trillions of babies. Huh. That's another way to look at it. Okay. Um, so what are you teaching those souls? Are you talking to them? Are you communicating with them? Are you helping them? What message are you giving those souls? And Master Shah is teaching, uh, somebody has a sore knee. So what is the first thing he teaches them? Give love to your knee. Oh, that's stupid, Master Shah. Who, whoever thought about giving love to your knee? What, what craziness is that, right? This is what he would teach people. People have cancer. Give love to your cancer. Oh, you're, you're, you're just nuts, Master Shah. People did not have the intelligence to understand the wisdom that he was trying to tell them. Why do we give love to our uh, knee or our cancer or our lung issues or whatever it may be? Why? Because we are delivering a different message. The message that's on there is creating the brain cancer. The message that's there is creating the asthma. Let's give it a different message. This is what can be done when you are conscious, when you recognize that everything has a soul. So the whole body has too many souls to count and you are responsible for all of their evolution. Every organ has billions and billions of souls, the whole body, too many. So a human being literally has a complete soul system. They are walking, talking, trillion souls. The body soul is the boss of the system's souls. The body soul is the boss of the organ souls and the cell souls and the cell unit souls, the DNA and the RNA. So just like there's a hierarchy of in, in a company and you have a boss and the boss has a boss and the boss has a boss all the way up to the president, the president of your body is your body soul. It literally can give orders to the other souls underneath it. The soul of the cardiovascular system is the boss of the other systems. What other systems? Well, there's the central nervous system, there's the respiratory system, there's the uh, uh, endocrine system, there's the uh, uh, rep reproductive system. There's quite a few systems in the body. Who is the boss? That would be the cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system, of course, is related to the heart. Okay? And so 
uh, just like in, in, a, in a company, there are bosses and there are bosses over divisions. Think of the cardiovascular system as the division boss, okay? Who's the boss over the organs? The soul of the heart is the boss over all the organs. The organs, the kidneys, the liver, the lungs, the spleen, the skin. These are all organs, the brain, okay? Who's the boss? The division leader is the heart. Who's the boss of the heart? The body soul. So the body soul is like the president. The heart is the boss of the organs. The cardiovascular system, which is related to the heart, is the boss of all the other systems. The souls of the heart cells, uh, RNA, DNA, smallest matter in the heart, spaces in the heart, they are the boss of the other cell souls and other cell units. So think about that. The RNA and DNA in the heart are the boss of the RNA and DNA of everything else in the human body. There is a hierarchy. This is important wisdom. It tells you that the body soul, the soul of the cardiovascular system, the soul of the heart, RNA, DNA, and so forth, are all connected. When you communicate, when you invoke these leader souls, healing could be very, very fast. When you ask them to serve, because you're the, you are in charge of the body soul, right? So you can tell them, I want you to serve. I want you to help you to bring healing to my body. Give orders to the rest of my body to make these changes. In essence, what you are doing is you are, things are happening on multiple levels with this wisdom. The first thing that's happening is you're starting to get some aha moments. Oh my God, everything really does have a soul. Wow, oh my God. Every one of those little specks of energy and matter is carrying a message and that message is karmic. So is it a good message or is it a not so good message? See, this is a secondary aha moment. Now, when you realize there's a hierarchy, you say, dear the soul of uh, my body soul, and you'll see it in a minute, give an order, give an order to all of the souls underneath, to the heart cardiovascular system, to bless, you know, and so forth. And what you're doing is you're invoking the leader souls to organize all of the soldiers, if you will, underneath them to do a good job. You are telling them the message you want them to deliver. If you tell them a good message, a healing message, then you are making a substantial shift in your health and well-being. Not just for the five minutes that you're doing it, because you're delivering a new message, a message that hasn't been delivered in many, many years. If you have sore knees, you have sore back, you have what, this, they're carrying a message. If you deliver a new message and continue to deliver that new message, guess what? You go into future lifetimes, that's the new message. So not only have you solved the problems this one, you solved it in the future. The four power technique uh, <clears throat> is body power, soul power, mind power, sound power. This is related to soul power. It is the power that most people have a lack of comprehension on. They understand mind power, creative visualization. They understand body power, you know, where you place your hands is where the energy goes. And sound power, you know, sound power is mantra. What you chant is what you become. Let's take a moment to reflect on that. What you chant is what you become. Okay, so what is chanting? I'm chanting words. What are the words? The words are message. The words are message. So if you're chanting, I love you. I love you to your brain or to your lower back or whatever is the problem. You are chanting a message to change the karma. This is not positive affirmation. This is soul to soul communication. If it was positive affirmation, you would just say, I love you, I love you, I love you. But soul communication connects, dear the soul 
of my beloved Laura back. I love you. That's a lot different than positive affirmation. You are talking directly to the souls and you're delivering a completely unique message. You can also, as you know, talk to the outer souls, souls of heaven, the beings of light, God, Buddha, Jesus, all of them. When you invite the outer souls, you are again positively impacting the message. So the key practice to heal your whole body, including all systems, all organs, all cells, all cell units, DNA, RNA, and the smallest matter, all of the spaces of the body at the same time is to practice for whole body healing. And you do that like this. Now we're gonna do a practice, okay? So everybody sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. Leave space for the chi to flow. <clears throat> Feet flat on the floor unless you like sitting in lotus position. For your body power, we're gonna place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position as we connect to the soul power. So again, like our prayer position, we drop the left hand in front of our heart center. The right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And we're going to connect to the soul level. So repeat with me. The words are on your screen. <clears throat> Dear my body soul, soul of my cardiovascular system, soul of my heart, and souls of the cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA, smallest matter, and spaces in my heart. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the power to heal my body. All the systems, all organs, all cells, all cell units, all DNA and RNA, all smallest matter, and all the spaces in my body. Do a good job. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Now I will invoke the outer souls. And that's not listed in Master Shah's book. We will add that. Dear God, dear my beloved creator. Dear all the beings of light who have been invited today. My name is, state your name three times. Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I love you. Really, really love you. Could you please offer blessings as appropriate to help me to heal my whole body as I do this practice? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so now we are going to repeat the words Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. We're going to keep repeating this. And as we're repeating this, I want you to visualize all the billions of cells in your body, all of the energy and matter in your body, just receiving love and light and they are naturally changing the message. Let us begin. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, RNA, DNA, smallest matter and spaces, thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces thank you heal my whole body my systems organs cells cell units dna and rna smallest matter and spaces thank you see the light billions of cells getting brighter and brighter heal my whole body my systems organs cells cell units DNA and RNA, 
smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Say thank you with great love. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Silently repeat. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. See the light getting brighter and brighter. If you know of a specific area in your body, focus on that area, watching the cells change their message. Continue to repeat silently while watching the change. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems, organs, cells and cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, cells, cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, cells and cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. <clears throat> Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, cells, cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, my cells and cell units, my DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, cells and cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, cells, cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, cells, cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, cells and cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. Heal my whole body, my systems and organs, cells and cell units, DNA and RNA, smallest matter and spaces. Thank you. And now visualize all of the tiny matter, tiny matter radiating energy and the energy and the matter 
is converting back and forth. Matter becomes energy. Energy becomes matter. Some matter converts to energy, while other energy is converting back to matter. So the whole body is a constant, beautiful, healthy conversion process. Matter to energy, energy to matter. Healthy, 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 healthy. And it's such a beautiful dance of light, healing, balancing. Matter to energy, energy to matter. Matter to energy, energy to matter. Constant conversion. Go to the area of your body where you have the most discomfort or the most imbalance. See the light, energy to matter, matter to energy. Perfect balance, back and forth, back and forth. Light, 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 back and forth. Energy to matter, matter to energy, energy to matter, matter to energy. A beautiful dance of light, back and forth. Healing, healing, so bright. Brighter, 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 brighter. Getting brighter, brighter, brighter. Message of love. Darkness cannot remain. Send love to this area. I love you. Send your greatest love. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me my whole life thank you for all that you've allowed me to do without you i would not be able to do so many things in my life i love you so much i really really love you please receive my love send your love to that area of your body send your huge love like the love you have for children the love you have for your parents. Send your greatest love to these cells, cell units, DNA and RNA of this area. It has never received such love. It only knows you complain about it. Send it love. I love you so much. Please forgive me for all the complaining I have done about you. Please forgive me for not honoring you and respecting you appreciating your incredible and unconditional service you offer unconditional service to support me my whole life and i have not even acknowledged you i have not given you love i'm so sorry please forgive me i love you so much i am so very very grateful for all that you have done for me please continue to receive my love and my healing messages. I know that you have the power to release the old messages and receive these messages of love. Thank you. Silently continue. Dear all the souls in all times, if I have ever brought harm to you in this same area that I have suffering, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. Thank you for giving me a message on my soul to remind me of my karma. Please forgive me. I have learned my lesson. I am so grateful for your message. I will continue to send love and ask for forgiveness so that you know I have learned my lessons and will not make the same mistakes again. I love you. Send love to your cells, your cell units, the smallest matter. I love you. I'm so grateful for all you happy dancing cells. I really, really, really love you. And see all your happy cells. Very happy, bright, and dancing. And we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. So when you're ready, open your eyes and return. And you can share how that practice was for you. Any aha moments in this wisdom and teaching, whatever you'd like to share.
I'd like to share. Uh, in the beginning, my I had a severe headache and the level was 15. And it was going low, lower, lower. And now the headache is gone. I was very, very warm. I was like, you know, it was like 102 degrees inside me. And I saw, I was in this huge light and I saw a lot of hearts around me. And I'm so grateful. Wow, that's huge. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Master Shah, Master Paul. Oh. Big blessings. Yeah, so we have the power to heal ourselves. Master Shah has been teaching us that for 20 years. And this is the first of many practices. So remember the wisdom. Any other sharing at this time? Well, this is Jim. I thought I saw some black spickles of something going down the front of my chest at the end, and uh, I just felt uh, calmly, uh, calmly refreshed from the whole thing. Yes. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing, Jim. <coughs> yeah, it's very powerful. Abdullah, I don't know if you're trying to talk or not, but you are muted if you are trying to talk. Actually, I received more beads and money is incredible. Beautiful. So this, Abdullah, is a practice that you can share, uh, not right away, as you learn more, but you'll be able to share these simple practices with your uh, family and neighbors. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. I, I I don't understand why when I ever, you know, got in here, I get so deep that I can't stop crying. I don't either, but <laughs> 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 let me know if you figure that one out. I will. I don't think I, I will be able to. I, I, <laughs> I am I do, I, I'm the weepy. I'm sorry. I do apologize for that. Hey, I just figured it out. We, you're one of the seven dwarfs. Weepy. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Weepy, seven so <I'm> dwarfs. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there are seven dwarfs in here too, isn't there, in class? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> anyway. You didn't have to agree with him, you know. <laughs> it's because I love you, Monica. I can joke with you like that. I know. I know. I love you too, dear. Okay. Um, so any other comments before we wrap up today? I have to get on to my next class. Yeah, I felt quite good, Master Paul. Felt quite emotional, letting out a lot of like purging. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Vanessa. So Tuesdays, same time, 8 a.m. Hawaii time. Um, Kristen will be leading this, uh, this practice um, using the similar patterns, and it'll be a great opportunity. So during this week, remember, uh, everything happening in your body is carrying a message. If what you're experiencing is not enjoyable, then you know what the message is. It's not a positive message. So your body has a hierarchy, the body soul, is in charge of everything. The heart soul is in charge of all the organs. Cardiovascular soul is in charge of all of the uh, systems. And so you ask them, dear the soul of my body, my heart soul, my cardiovascular soul, can you please order all of the cells in my body, the RNA, the DNA, the smallest matter, to bring healing to itself, so whole body healing or you can ask it to go to your lower back or whatever you'd like to do, okay? 
and then you chant and you send it love. Very, very simple wisdom. And a 15 on level of a headache went down to zero and 20 minutes of, of practice. So uh, that's the power of this wisdom, right? Okay. So thank Fantastic. you for coming. Um, if you have uh, anybody else that you know that could benefit from this course, I know you've already shared, but share with them um, the links. And Kristen, if you haven't already, could you post this link also in our chat? Um, and this is the video I made last week. For it me. is in the chat. Thank you. Well, it's in this chat, Kristen, but did you post it in the meetup, in the, in the Facebook chat? That's what I'm asking. That's what I meant. Okay, thank you. Um, so uh, click on that and watch it if you haven't already, okay? And share that with other people that want to, uh, are open-minded about self-healing. Okay. Yes, Monica. Uh, I was just wondering whether you would uh, post a PDF file uh, like you used to do in yeah, the other Yeah, I'll be classes. posting the video Thank and you. the PDF file of this uh, at some point today. You got to give me a little bit of time on that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Okay. So let us offer our gratitude. We thank our beloved divine creator. We thank all the beings of light who have come to offer their service here today. We cannot bow down enough. We sincerely, sincerely grateful. We thank them all for coming and we ask them to respectfully return. So let's all say together three thank yous, three love yous, and three gong songs. And Abdullah gong song is a Mandarin Chinese word that means respectfully return. Okay? So let us say thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank, thank you, you, thank you, love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Gong song. Okay, everybody, we'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I love you. Bye.